What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing as Isis. His name is Scardi. His opponent today in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Matrius. The map is Anatolia. This is game number two of this best of five for the AOL Destroyer tournament. That's... I don't know what else to call it, apart from the AOL Destroyer Tournament. The Madman. The Madman. We've got the map Anatolia here. We're seeing Matrius selecting this. If you are the loser of the game, the game prior, you get to pick the next map. And of the uh, ridiculous amounts of maps available, We see two standard maps thus far. I'm really hoping that one of these players picks a strange map uh, and we see something crazy go on, but we'll see how it's all going to go. Uh, Matrius deciding to go with Poseidon when he pretty much knows that Scardi's going to go Isis is fairly, fairly interesting. Now, Scardi is known as a, uh, a multi-god talent. He plays all the gods to a very, very high level. And what makes him so good in these kind of map pick tournaments is that he'll just pick the strongest god on the map that the he'll pick a pick the strongest god uh that he thinks he see he'll pick the god he thinks is the strongest for the map that is selected now isis has been considered one of the strong or isis has been considered the strongest god on anatolia for quite some time here but i'm here to say i don't actually think that isis is strong I actually think that Isis is the strongest god anymore. I think Isis is a strong god, definitely in the S tier category, but I think there are gods that can compete with Isis. Namely, Thor, Zeus, Poseidon. These gods are so strong on this map because of certain strategies. Now, if you're not doing these strategies, you lose all advantage. Now, Isis' strategy revolves around a strong heroic age, either then following it up with a timing or a mythic age. Very good. Poseidon's strategy is very, very similar, but you need to make sure you get your heroes out to defend. Got to make sure you get your heroes out to defend, otherwise the Ancestors Eclipse is going to be brutal. You can always cease fire the Ancestors Eclipse if you're fast enough. And we'll see how this game's going to go. Uh, both players should be looking to get something like a 5.15 advance time with 18 fishing ship, but Scardi is actually looking to steal some fish away from Matrius on this top side of the map. If we check this out here, uh, we can see Scardi about to drop another dock, it seems. He's throwing a house down. Matrius over here with his villager. He's got to be careful here. If Matrius notices this, he can start shanking, and it's going to be a tough one for him. Uh, and honestly, at this point, if he sees this dock here, we do see the shanking starting, the priest coming in. Matrius is probably going to be okay with uh, trading this, but... He's going to have to pull back as the priest is here. The fishing ship going to put this dock up. Now, what Matrius needs to do here is take these fish. Uh, and this is just Scardi trying to push uh, push Matrius out of his comfort zone here, stealing fish away. We do see the villager coming in onto this position. We see a whole bunch of villagers by Matrius coming over. You're going to try and push this back. This is incredibly committal here by Matrius. He's running straight through the wolves as well. But we will be seeing one villager kill there. Nice play by Matrius, but incredibly big commit on this location as we are seeing another dock getting thrown up. All of your timings are out the window here ladies and gentlemen in this game because what is he? He's got four villagers throwing this dock up. What does he do? Get this mining camp here. Throw a storehouse down onto this wood line. Wouldn't be a bad idea. The villagers for Matrius going up through 515, 12 11 fishing ship here. This is absolute madness as we're going to see the villagers sniping down this dock as well. And there's the dock down for Scardi. He's a ways away from advancing to the next age. Scardi a little bit short on goal for another dock here. Just about to get his temple up. He's uh, kind of got these villagers a little bit inefficiently mining here as he wants to get this dock up. He's going to be advancing maybe at 5.45 or 6 minutes here as this dock will get denied by these four villagers. Is it value or not is the question. I'm not sure if Matrius realizes there's already two docks down and also Scardi can just spam these docks up. You did 50 gold worth of damage to your opponent and you're losing out on four villages every single second. These villages are not mining is four resources they have not gathered. So 
in 10 seconds gone by with these villagers fighting. That is 40 resources gone as this dock is getting shot up by Skardiv, and I don't think it's going to be up in time. We do see the Trireme getting spammed out over here. We do see the villagers fighting each other. And you could probably actually stay here and fight this. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just make one Trireme on the bottom of the map here and see how it goes as we do see this dock coming up as well. The, uh, the Trireme shooting at the dock now as there's more shoot more, more ships coming in here the villagers returning home more houses coming up and honestly matrius has adapted to this so very very well bringing bringing the villagers back in here again i am very worried that my stream labs is crashing yet again here i've got no idea hopefully it's fine hopefully it's fine they're still good all right scardy uh Taking down this dock here. And now we see the Trireme pushing forward, going after these cabinets. Uh, Scardi out, ready to fight. He's got these docks down. Meanwhile, over here, not too much happening just yet. As the cabinets getting attacked. There goes more dead cabinets. As Madras is actually quite. He's not actually winning these fights here because he's underneath the dock fire. So enough enough uh, fire back on this will force Matrius out. And at this point, we are seeing the uh, the prosperity by Scardi super early. He doesn't have the, the food here for it. He's shorted himself quite a lot of fish. And I don't think he's got himself Persine just yet either. And Matrius is putting so much pressure onto Scardi right now with his Poseidon making it look easy as this game is continuing. Still no per scene for either players, as we also see a stray Sphinx coming in, hitting some raids on this location, but the Theseus is already over here. And the Sphinx is just going to wander away, not even taking a little bit of damage there from the Theseus. Nice play. And Matrius just hanging out here. We do see the cabinets ready to fight each other. As they do come in. Scotty now with 365 gold in the bank. Not enough food to go to the heroic age. And we're actually going to be in a very, very rare position here. We never see this where the ISIS player isn't in the heroic age at 8 minutes 30 or earlier. So, Matrix has got a lot of options now to play with. We'll see how it's going to go. If the answer is Eclipse is going to be enough to control the middle of the map or, or what. Bosor actually coming through from Matrius as well as he's deciding uh, he wants to get that. Now remember, Bosor is actually really, really good for the Greek players. Gives a big, big bonus to uh, to the to the wood income. So we do see a nice micro there from Scardi pulling the cabinets back. Uh, but Matrius here about to be pushed off of this top side of the water. Absolutely huge. But Matrius has already got the resources to go to the Heroic Age here. So maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he can go Dionysus here, get a Skylar out, uh, win this bottom side of the water very, very simply with one Skylar uh, and, and be completely fine. We see the Armory getting shot up here. A little bit late here for Matrius, but he will get it up. Uh, and now the cabinets to take down these docks and Scardi does end up winning the top side of the water as this game is going to continue his food economy starting to come up per scene coming in Dionysus coming through here for Matrius as well as per scene the try room coming forward on this location Scardi going to be building some cabinets here but honestly if you've won the top side don't bother just maybe you can build a couple and just hopefully force your opponent to make a whole bunch of uh, archers but end of the day, this water now belongs to Matrius, and your advantage is in cleaning up or putting fishing ships on every single one of these locations as fast as you can. As you do see a sand duck coming over here. Got a barracks coming down for Scardi for some reason, and he'll probably be advancing through Nephthys very, very shortly. There he goes. As a villager getting sniped down on this position, the fishing ships all getting picked off. Another villager coming over here. We've got the militia here. Going to get picked off. We'll see what Matrius is going to do. I would love to see Matrius uh, simply just go to the Mythic Age through uh, Hephaestus and just play this nice and slowly. No need to do all too much. He gets his Skyl... Spicy. Spicy Matrius. He's got himself five 
Trireme here, plus the Skylar. He's going to cause a lot of issues on this side. And Matthews actually deleted his dock to get the free Skylar up the top side. Now, Scardi is going to be panicking here, trying to work out what he's going to do. We see Arrow Ship cladding coming through as well. And do we see a market anywhere for Matrius? No, he's not going to the next age just yet, but he should. He should. We do see that. Uh, where's that? Oh, he's sending the Hydra to this location. Kill these. They're there. There's no reason for Dionysus. Not really. But it's such a big bonus to do that. We see the Scarlet coming in, getting some extra heads here. Every single time they pick off a unit or two units, they get an extra head. It's approximately two, I think. It's not exactly random. There we go. Two heads now for the Skylar. All these units falling. What Scardi should be doing is Ancestors eclipsing the economy, but Mantris has already got his Apollo and Theseus here, so maybe it's not going to be that big of a of a cast here as the village is moving forward. Looks like Scardi going after the town center. He's going to go up for the Migdol stronghold in the middle of the map and try and hold the map uh, with Ancestors Eclipse a little bit later in the game, it seems, and get a big gold star. We see Mattress getting himself the second town center, throwing up the market as well. Going to start that trade route uh, nice and early, Scardi is. What is this? The trade route could go from here to here, but I'm pretty sure this town center will spot that one. So it's a little bit of a mistake on that side right. to go for that. Meanwhile, the Philavon Leviathan is out. That's going to help defend a lot. But these Skylar deal so much damage. Here, look at the Leviathan. 25 damage. It does end up falling. These Skylar getting taken out here as well. Skylar's got a lot of food in the back. There's... There we go. We're, that's what we're talking about. Three-headed Hydra going on four heads. Uh, four head? Four head? Ancestors Eclipse getting cast now in the base of Matrius as this is all going on. The Unfortunately for Matrius, his three-headed Hydra does end up getting taken down by the Pharaoh because he didn't click onto that one just yet. Now the Ancestors looking after these villagers, trying to snipe as many as they can. The uh, heroes of Matrius searching for something to do. Lots of villager kills coming in. This is exactly what Scotty should have done uh, as soon as he hit the Heroic Age. But we'll see how it's going to go. We've got Heroic Fleet coming through for Scardi as well in an attempt to take these Scarlet. They've got so many heads. It's such an effort to take the Scarlet out here. Better just get your town centers. Get your economy sorted. The villagers getting pulled off of this gold mine here. Moving up to the top side of the map into this town center. But so many more dead villagers. Do we have a Migdol up? Not just yet, but there are spearmen built by Scardi here. Very risky to be going those spearmen when he needs all of that food to be making villages here. Uh, Matrius is trying his darnness to get the resources to get to the, the Mythic Age here, but he doesn't have a market, it seems. I don't see a market anywhere at the very least. Uh, so he can't advance just yet. Matrius is on 33, uh, 33 villages with 16 fishing ships. Scardi 45 villages with 11 fishing ships. As the uh, Trireme still searching for stuff to take down. The uh, ramming galleys are in here and they do have that heroic fleet. So they will be able to take these down. Nice micro from Scardi as he's able to pick off both of those. Skylar take the entirety of this top uh, water for himself. Finally... Uh, and he's going to be in a good position here to keep going in this game. Might want to continue to spam out those fishing ships and, and keep his economy going good. Now the spearmen can fight. They are unupgraded versus those medium Hippocon at this point, so it's not the best trades in the world, but he does have the the numbers at this point, so in a very, very good position here as the Hippocon retreating away in a very, very good spot. And um, we'll see if Scardi can continue the pressure. The gold mine has 1,500 gold left in it. Still no market up. Matrius now spending all his resources, choosing not to go to the next age. There's a world where making Nemean Lion here is good. We've got the village ma villagers making their way over onto this gold mine, throwing up a fortress. Smart play to do that here. The fortress will help him get this gold mine, but there could be villager. There could be... Uh, cabinet raids onto this location here as we see the town center going up ceasefire getting cast spicy town center grab we'll see how it's going to go it doesn't really give him access to a gold mine there is still ancestors eclipse oh no sorry ancestors eclipse has been used so there's not going to be a whole there's not going to be a very good uh push here that Scardi can do to kill this one off. So maybe with a good wall over here, which is exactly what Matthews is doing, he could get this gold mine secured. 
Uh, he's also cut off the market here from Scotty, who's still going for this corner market, which is bizarre, um, especially when you can just go for a market where he has the market over here already. He might get unlucky in the camel caravans. If he sends them over here, he might decide that walking up here is a better idea. Um, but we'll see how it's going to go. Now you see the villagers walking over onto this gold, the bolter here, to take the scorpion man down. All the units out for Scardi, 135, 136 population, getting himself that third town center as well. Both players still stuck in the heroic age, not continuing to advance just yet. We see the Hippocon retreating away as Scardi coming in. Matrius cannot engage just yet. He's got his third town center up. Doesn't have any more heroes out just yet as the bronze getting thrown down. Does he have Thracian horses? The spirited charge. So he's going to take this fight and see how he can do. Match is still low on population and he's not got any town sent this year. No fortress up just yet for Matrius to hold on and it's looking like Scardi is pushing through this army fairly decently but maybe Sc Matrius has managed to hold on especially with the help of Atlanta coming through as well and Scardi has to get out of there not able to get the win at that point. Matrius down uh, Heroic Age God Power though at this point going to be able to be a little bit equal in this situation. There's another villager getting sniped down. Uh, and it's looking like Matrius is getting a lot of power in this game. As he's going to move forward and see what he can do. Villagers happily mining gold here. as more camelry coming out. Honestly, camelry not really the unit you want to be making in this situation. I'd much rather see uh, heavy spearmen than cavalry being made by the Isis at this point because you can uh, you can go Spearman Chariot Archer and live the dream, but Spearman, Spearman Cavalry, these cavalry are generally for Isis just not that strong. So we'll see how this is going to go. Matrius now pushing in. Going to put all the pressure onto these Spearmen here as the Spearmen retreating away. Not ready to fight. The cavalry going to attempt to break through this wooden wall. He could use a transport ship to make this a little bit easier if he really wanted to. But he obviously doesn't. Well, he does have the reach, the, the population here. And Scotty coming straight back into the air. Going to be using the town center and the Migdal stronghold to hold on. But Matrius doesn't care. What's he got? Still no more upgrades. The villagers getting pulled off the gold mine. Going to start fighting. We see some mercenary getting built out of the town center for Scotty. As these units have to retreat back, Scotty needs to cancel those as he does manage to do that. Nice play. Now the cavalry raids onto Matrius. His only gold mine at this point going to be huge as Matrius has to pull back into the town center. No more gold income as Scotty going to try and push back onto this location here. We'll see if there's going to be any attempt at throwing towers up onto this town center to try and make a push with siege towers or something like that. And we'll see how it's going to go. We've got these uh, medium spears doing work. The villagers coming in here as well for Scardi is his thing. My only real option right now is a huge all-in. These 11 villagers not going to be that useful though. What's he going to do? Take the town center down. Fortified town center is about to pop for Matrius as well. So taking that down is going to be a bit of an issue. Some more raids coming over here. Getting dealt with by the Prodromus of Matrius. The wall getting rebuilt over here as well. Villages on the berries on this position. The Trireme getting damage dealt over here by Matrius. He's all over the map at this point. Scardi retreating back here. Trying to get away from, uh, from Matrius at this point. As the villagers doing their thing, they need to get out of here though. There are scorpion men, there is a scorpion man or two in this fight right now, and there's no more heroes on this position so apart from the Theseus who basically dies instantly to the chariot archer. So it's going to be a nice unit composition here for Scardi at this point. So we'll see if he's going to be able to do anything here. So now we see those watchtowers calling up. That's what I was talking about. Can Scardi set up a position here or not? Because this gold mine will expire fairly soon. We are seeing some random ramming galleys getting some pressure onto that location there. And these gold mines are basically it here for Matrius. So he's got 3,000 gold left to sort of stabilize. This town center is not going to be able to be taken here for Scardi, but We'll see how it's going to go if Matrius can make anything happen with all of this gold. I would love to see some military academies thrown down for Matrius. Just making hoplites here. Just nice and simple hoplites to add in just to add some beefiness so that those spearmen don't have free reign on the opponent. Uh, and 
spot on the opponent's cavalry as we do see this gold mine getting pushed off as well as a Migdol stronghold coming up. Do we see crenellations coming through for Scardi? No, this watchtower is undefended as well. So Mattress can just walk in here and take this down. All the villagers making their way over onto this position now as the Migdol stronghold just about to pop. The villagers can easily take this down as well with their bonus 150% damage against towers. Down the tower as well at this point is targeting a a archer range there instead of anything else. Hands of the Pharaoh coming through for Scardi. Still no uh still no fortified town center for Scardi. So it's going to be a little bit low on the resources, on the population here. Heavy Spearman now coming through, though. That's going to be a big, big help. But the villagers all onto this position. Wouldn't be surprised to see Mattress throw up a fortress or something here. The, the Hydra spam coming in, though. This is a smart play here because the Hydra... The Hydra do really well against everything currently that Scardi has. And they also force out priests, which just aren't that good uh, at, at this point in the game. Even with funeral rites, they just they just kill the Hydra and then are a waste of population. The mercenary cavalry coming in, hitting some raids on this position now as the villagers are going to be trying to mine out this gold mine. Smart play from Scardi to be doing that and spamming the mercenary in here to get some raids. But it's looking like Matrius has cleaned up the majority of Scardi's army here as the Pharaoh are coming in. Nice micro from Matrius to turn around here. The Pharaoh getting pulled back. Doesn't want to uh, lose that one just yet. Needs him to take down these Hydra. The Hydra do only have 40% Pierce armor. And as we see the other Hydra starting to get targeted down. More mercenary cavalry in on this position. The Hippocon able to take down some villages over here. This stray Hydra getting targeted down by a priest or two as it's going to be going up to the Migdol Stronghold. Nice micro from Mattress with the Atlanta over here. Meanwhile, more raids onto this gold mine. Mattress has got plenty of resources in the bank. Scardi very, very low on the resources. No fishing ships basically remaining six there. So he's got very little food income as well. He's been pushed off his berries or finished his berries. Not very many farms either to boot. He could buy some food if he has any gold income, but it's looking like he doesn't really. Villagers pulled off the gold mine over here to try and repair that Migdol stronghold back up to give Scardi a chance to continue here, but it's looking like Matrius too strong in this position. The villagers returning back onto this gold mine to take everything down. We've even got Matrius with a heavy trireme here, uh, picking off some of Scardi's villagers as he's going to continue to lose those on this position. We see another storehouse getting thrown up here, and I'm not sure Sure, I see it here for Scardi. 92 of 154 population. Heavy archers, heavy cavalry coming through for Mattress. Making the heroic age of Poseidon work here in the on the map Anatolia against mid uh, against Isis. Even with the chaotic early game here. Toxodes sniping down villages. Left, right. So we see Thracian horses coming through for Mattress as well. He's going to have some of the strongest cavalry in the game. And Scardi taps out. GG. Well played by Scar by Madrius there. My stream lab just crashed, so I hope that this doesn't break. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next game.